Hi, hello, welcome back. It is a Sunday, we just went grocery shopping. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you a little behind the scenes or I guess behind the snacks. Snack foods. We're gonna do a fridge tour and a pantry tour. That way you can see some of those like healthy and not so healthy staples that I keep on hand so I can stay on track. We're gonna start in the fridge and we're gonna start here on the door. So we almost always have egg whites. It's just really easy to cook up or add into recipes. For toppings, I love just like the fat-free Ready Whip, although you could use the regular one. And then also this Hershey's Zero Sugar Syrup. I really like to put this on like ice creams that I make or even on top of Greek yogurts. Lime juice and lemon juice, we add that a lot for flavor. And then right now we have orange juice just because we're making orange chicken. Then we get into all of the sauces, and I'll be honest, a lot of these are Billy's. He is a sauce connoisseur, if you will. So like Taco Bell sauce, that's not for me, but we do use hoisin sauce a lot for a lot of the like Asian recipes that we make. I really like G Hughes. G Hughes is the man. You're gonna see a lot of G Hughes, but this is his sugar-free Thai chili wing sauce. That's actually Billy's just cause I don't eat wings, but I'll show you some of the stuff I love from G Hughes. Parmesan cheese, I mean, spray butter. I don't use that super often, but it's in there. And that's pretty much it that I eat from there. Ginger is just used in recipes. Moving up top, I do love apple butter. It's really good on like rice cakes or toast. I also have pumpkin butter <laughs> and then lilikoi butter, which we brought back from Hawaii. And then I really love sugar-free strawberry preserves and I like the one with fiber. It's just a great way to get in some extra fiber. That's about it for this door. Now moving on to this door, we've got more sauces. So let's go ahead and start there. G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I love the honey, the hickory, the original, doesn't matter. They're all absolutely delicious. I put it on everything. We also have the sugar-free Polynesian sauce and the sugar-free sweet chili sauce. Both of those are really good for dipping. Obviously like ketchup, mustard, Dijon mustard as well. Reduced sodium soy sauce, steak sauce, and then Worcestershire sauce. I feel like I kind of nailed it there. <laughs> but that's it for there. Up here, light mayonnaise. Um, we have some like relish, which I only use this for tuna. Tuna wrap. <clears throat> okay. But it's good. I have just like a mild salsa that I keep on hand, which is stuck, so we're gonna leave it in there. It's just the Aldi brand, but that's really good on eggs. This is Billy Salsa. Pickles, I'm a pickle lover. I know it's not for everyone, but I love it. And then minced garlic, which we get from Aldi. And then down here, kind of the dairy section, we have almond milk, which I guess technically is not dairy because it's from almonds, but we really like the unsweet vanilla. So we have two of those right now because this one's almost empty. Coffee creamer, our favorite is the International Delight Hershey's Chocolate Caramel. And then heavy whipping cream, which we use in recipes. This one's almost done and this one's new. And then we currently have almond nog because we didn't finish it around Christmas time. <laughs> And then moving on to the rest of the fridge, the entire top and part of the second shelf is dedicated to drinks because we drink a lot of drinks. Uh, so pre-made protein shakes. Y'all know I love the Premier Protein ones. Chocolate peanut butter is my favorite flavor. I have energy drinks, the Ghost brand, Red Berry and Bang, currently Cherry Blade Lemonade, Diet Coke, and then the Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. I don't wanna hear about the chemicals, okay? It's my vice. I like my calorie free drinks. And then I have Gatorade Zero as just a way to kind of replenish electrolytes. Then we have chicken broth, which we just use in like recipes. It's reduced sodium and marinara sauce. This is great because it stays good for like a couple months in the fridge, which probably is not a good thing, but it's easy to have on hand for recipes. Tzatziki, we have a lot. It's really good for dipping like vegetables in and we also use it on our Mediterranean bowls. More salsa for Billy. We do love salsa. This is my dad's toffee, also left over from Christmas. Still working on that butter eggs, 
coveted right now because they're super expensive. Then we have our meat. So currently we have chicken, some flank steak because we're making Mongolian beef. This is a hack if you need to save time. It's a little more expensive, but you can buy like pre-shredded chicken and then ground beef. I really like the extra lean, the 96%. And then Greek yogurt, which we use a lot. We have two things of it right now. Just the plain non-fat. And I will mix in either pudding mixes or protein powder. And then we have cottage cheese. I get the fat-free small curd, but I also mix in protein powder and like frozen berries and things. And then here's veggies once again to save time. We buy pre-diced onion. It's just easier. Carrot, celery, zucchini, cucumber. Just kind of good to have on hand. And then I think the store today was out of like regular broccoli and cauliflower. That's why we got these. But they're pre-diced. It does also save time. And then we just have shredded lettuce. I love shredded lettuce because it's easy to add like volume into things. And then a coleslaw kit only because they were out of just the regular coleslaw mix. And then those are just some herbs. Moving on to like cheeses. Um, I mean, we have like reduced fat and also fat free shredded cheese. <laughs> Laughing Cow, the light spreadable cheese wedges. These are really good on like crackers and things. Um, reduced fat feta, we use a lot. Turkey breast, great way to quickly get in protein. Sometimes I'll just grab a couple slices, snack on them. Turkey pepperoni, also delicious, a great source of protein. And then bacon bits, which we use a lot. On like salads, cheeseburger in a bowl, things like that. Eggs even, adds flavor. All right, so then moving on to the freezer. It's not very exciting. A lot of frozen fruit. This is a berry medley, but I also like the cherry berry medley. It's good for making like smoothies, frozen blueberries, frozen raspberries, which I love because they're a great source of fiber. These are frozen strawberries, and I think the vacuum seal bag didn't get all the air out, so they're puffed up a little bit, but it's fine. Ice cream for Ember, and then ice cream for me. This is like my latest favorite, the Enlightened Cookie Dough. My store just started carrying it, and it's delicious. And then the bottom drawer, these are just ice packs, so that's not exciting. But over here, these are Billy's. Um, but we have a lot of like frozen veggies where you just throw them in the microwave for five minutes. So this is like a California medley, an Asian medley, broccoli. We have some shrimp, some ground beef, peas, corn. That's really good for adding into like soups. And then these, which we got one night when we were really hungry, they're just like chicken strips that are grilled and you just throw them in the oven. Now we are in the pantry, which is where most of the snacks and things are. If you're interested in my organization, I do have a full video on it. It was expensive, but I do feel so happy when I walk in here. We're just gonna go row by row so that it's easiest. Coming over here, we've got bread and rice cakes, which really is just English muffins and rice cakes because we don't eat a lot of bread, but these are just the like 100 calorie light multigrain English muffins. And then these are all rice cakes. So caramel, those are also caramel. Chocolate, which I really like. These are phenomenal. I can only find them at Target, but it's the tomato basil. It basically tastes like pizza and I will eat these just on their own. I don't even add anything to it. And then I also have some lightly salted because they're very versatile and you can add a bunch of things to it. Then we have rice. We used to have jasmine rice and brown rice. And then we realized we like jasmine rice a lot better. So we just have jasmine rice now. And then oats, these are the Quaker, like quick cook oats or the instant oats. And then these are the old fashioned rolled oats. These are like my normal go-to ones, but I use the rolled oats to make the cottage cheese pancakes that I make and also for overnight oats. Then this is protein cookie butter powder. I got this from, I think it's called Flex Brands, but you can add it into recipes and things. I'll be honest, I stocked up and bought a lot, haven't used it a lot, but it's, you know, nice to have on hand. These, however, I go through super quickly. These are the Jell-O chocolate sugar-free, fat-free pudding mixes. I mix these with protein shakes in order to make like protein pudding but I also will add it into like Greek yogurt and things. So those are boxes there. Then we have pasta. So we mostly eat the Barilla Protein Plus brand of pasta. So we have like spaghetti and penne and elbow. 
I will put a picture of the box since it's no longer in the box, but it's like a, a yellow box and it has extra protein in it. And then Orzo. So now on to the next shelf, all of our cans and jars, it just depends on what we're making that week. We don't keep a lot stocked up, but we tend to have corn, tomato paste, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, pumpkin, because it's good in recipes, but also it's good for Ember when she's a little backed up, if y'all know what I mean. And then we have things like coconut oil and then random sauces that we pick up at stores where it sounds good and we plan on using it at some point. Then we have marinades and mixes. So we always have taco seasoning on hand. One of our favorite like marinades, it's called Just Add Juice. We'll put a picture of it on the screen. It's really, really good, but chili mix. And then also some tuna packets. So these are really good just to have on hand as a quick source of protein. And speaking of tuna, we also have tuna cans. We get these from Aldi. I will typically eat an entire can and it will have like between 40 and 50 grams of protein. Then stocks and broths, cause we use those to cook with a lot. These are a lot of like vinegars and oils and maple syrups, nothing too exciting there. Fruits and vegetables. We always have apples. Right now we have a lemon for a recipe. Billy's New Year's resolution was to eat his bananas before they go bad. So leave uh, a comment, how is that going for him? Technically it wasn't a New Year's resolution. Those were purchased pre-New Year's, <laughs> so those don't count. Yeah, but you still needed to eat them. No, the next batch will count. Okay, uh -huh. it's a work in progress. We have a green pepper and sweet potatoes for recipes this week. And then boxes and extras. These are like back stock of a lot of sauces. Like we have a whole thing of soy sauce. This is Billy's like barbecue sauce and some of the other vinegars and things that don't fit. We have a whole extra thing of garlic and olive oil, nothing too fancy. Now we are on to the fun row, mostly all the snackies. Personally, I don't have a problem keeping a lot of snacks on hand because I will just portion out a serving size and have it at night. I don't eat the entire bag in one sitting. I will make sure it lasts and I just enjoy it a serving at a time so it works for me. But if there's something you cannot control yourself with, you might not wanna keep it in the house. It's your call. But I organize it by salty and then sweet. So for salty snacks, we have almonds. They're a good source of, of getting in fats if I'm low on fats, but we don't eat them super often. These are Billy's Wheat Thins. I love, these are like the Ritz toasted chips. And these ones are veggie, but they also have just like salt and it's very, very good. As you saw in the fridge, we have a lot of salsa. So we also have tortilla chips. These are just the H-E-B brand, but any tortilla chips are fine. These are some of my favorites. These are popcorners. So they're almost like a popcorn chip, if you will. But my favorite flavor was kettle corn until recently I was traveling and I finally found the cinnamon crunch flavor. They taste kind of like the cinnamon twist from Taco Bell, but even better. So those are phenomenal if you can get your hands on them. For sweet snacks, these are left over from Christmas. They are delicious, but I'm eating them one at a time. Fudge covered peppermint creams. I really love these, Drizzlicious. They're like little mini rice cakes. Cookies and cream is my favorite flavor. Mini Nilla wafers. Y'all know I love small versions of things. So I love like mini goldfish and mini Nilla wafers. These are really good to crush up and put in like Greek yogurt or on top of an ice cream or even to dip like dessert hummus. You can dip these in, oh, so good. Or you just eat them, you know, they're delicious. Then I have like sweetening packet. So it's just like stevia zero calorie. I personally love hot chocolate. So these are dark chocolate hot cocoa mix packets that I will mix with the almond milk. Um, sprinkles, I have chocolate sprinkles and the rainbow sprinkles. They're just fun to add on to like Greek yogurt and ice creams and things. I have currently some like Reese's trees and Reese's Santas where I'll have like one each night just to curb that craving. I always keep these well, typically it's fiber one, but this is the Aldi brand, so it's fiber now. It's my fiber and I want it now. But these are great if I notice I'm low on fiber, I will have one of these at night and it tastes like a little brownie. And then we also have these lemonade packets. They're just like the water flavoring packets, 
but we will mix it with like Greek yogurt, vanilla protein powder, and ice, and it almost tastes like the Chick-fil-A frozen lemonades, which are delicious. Then baking supplies, I always keep the special dark cocoa powder on hand. I add this into oatmeal a lot, and then I'll use it with recipes. Xanthan gum, which I know some people don't like this because it bothers their stomach. I don't have any problem with that, but it is like a thickener. So I will use this to make like a protein ice cream and it creates that ice cream consistency. It's never too early for ice cream, Jim. And then back here, just more sugar substitutes. So it's like the Truvia I have granulated and then also like confectioners just for baking things. No sugar added applesauce. I use this in recipes a lot as well. And then the black Dutch cocoa powder. So if you have ever seen things that look like Oreos, where it's like that real dark chocolate look, it's this type of cocoa powder. I got this on Amazon. Then we are on to the peanut butters. So we have regular peanut butter. We have PB2, which is a powdered peanut butter, but I love to add this into oatmeal. We have Marshmallow cream, so this is what you would use to make like a fluffernutter, but I also love it on my chocolate rice cakes. And then peanut butter and company, dark chocolatey dreams. It's basically like a chocolate peanut butter. And then cookie butter. If you don't know about cookie butter, you're missing out, but it tastes like the Biscoff cookies. And then more snacks, <laughs> so popcorn packs. I'm mad at Orville Redenbacher's. They got rid of my favorite popcorn packs, but I have since switched to the Jolly Time Healthy Pop Butter. I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but I love that it's just a little mini personal size bag and you get a lot of it. I love foods that are high in volume where I get to eat a lot of it for not a lot of macros. Protein bars, so Billy eats a lot of the Robert Irvine Fit Crunch bars. We get them at Costco. And then my personal favorite are Built Bars. They are very chewy. So if you don't like chewy, you won't like these, but for me, it tastes like a candy bar. And because it's chewy, it takes longer for me to eat it. I order these on the Built Bar website, but they're also available on Amazon and I've added them into my like Amazon health and fitness favorites. So I will link that down below. Pretzels, specifically the pretzel fins, we always have these on hand. They're just a good snack. And then cereal, which I love to make like a protein milk where I'll mix almond milk with a little protein powder and this is just like a rip off of honey bunches of oats but it's good for adding into like greek yogurt instead of granola because you tend to get more of this than you would the granola for the same calories this is ct crunch or cinnamon toast crunch and then we are all out of our third cereal we had the sugar cookie cinnamon toast crunch but it has since been consumed so we need to get some more maybe some reese's puffs then we are on to a lot of like baking supplies, so it's not that interesting. Regular flour, self-rising flour, which I will mix with Greek yogurt to make pizza dough, and you can even make bagels with it. Regular sugar, brown sugar, nothing fancy there. Panko breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, again, nothing fancy. And then this is like salt, pepper, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla extract, honey, uh, cornstarch. Pancake mix, this is Kodiak cakes, which you can find at most grocery stores. It's a little bit higher in protein. Coconut flakes, which I love to mix into things, but also we will make like coconut shrimp with it and it's really good. And then we have my mix-ins. I love to mix things in if you can't tell. So we have mini chocolate chips, peanut butter chips. These are mini junior mints. I love mini. We also have mini peanut butter cups. These came from Trader Joe's. These are those same pudding mixes that I already showed you. So chocolate, vanilla, and then white chocolate. I will mix that into like Greek yogurt and add it into other things as like a thickener if I make like a protein shake or something. And then this one is like a ranch seasoning mix, which I will mix with Greek yogurt to make a dip for veggies. Then up top here is basically back stock. So I have just like extra syrup. I do wanna show you these, cause I love these. I also added them into my Amazon store cause that's where I get them from, but they are protein brownies. This one is chocolate cookie monster. It's higher in protein. I think one of them is like 20 grams of protein and I think they taste delicious and I just love brownies. So that's a good nighttime snack for me. Then we have extra tortilla chips. We have some baked ripples, cheddar and sour cream. Ooh, these are good. Creators, 
it's like a cheese and caramel popcorn mix. There's another name for this when that's like mixed together. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, more popcorners. This is all back stock of like extra fiber bars and like candy for when I want it for the gym. And then we just have all of our like extra seasonings that don't fit in the main seasoning drawer. And then more back stock of extra drinks and cat food, but not exciting. So that's it. Y'all now have seen behind the doors of my fridge and all of my pantry stashed items. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'm gonna have a vlog where I show how I actually track my food and you'll see some of these items incorporated in, but I will also have the link to my Amazon store where I list some of my health and fitness favorites. And I do have a Q&A video coming as well. So for now, if you enjoyed this and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos as always. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.